Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we have the HTC One here, and um, you can see here this is uh, video highlights, and uh, you're having fun with them, right? Um, there's only one problem. After a while of, of doing them uh, and posting them, they can get a little boring. Not the videos themselves, but the music. Uh, the filters, they have good lasting power. Uh, there's six choices, but the music can get a little boring. Um, especially after your fifth or sixth one. So, you may be thinking, how do I change the music? Well, you can do it. It's not that hard. Uh, you, you can't do it within the HTC app here, but it can be done. Now, the first thing to do is pull, uh, stop the video and go to the menu key here. You want to make sure you save the video as an MP3, MP4 file on your device. So, this is called uh, Birthday Party, and... Um, from the birthday party event and there's the uh, filter, this Islandia filter. We're just going to go ahead and hit OK here and save the video and that's going to take a few seconds. Now, I also have to say that obviously if you have a, uh, a nice editing software in your desktop or laptop you can do whatever you want as far as altering the video but most people don't have that and that's why I'm here showing you this tutorial how you can do it all on your phone and it's really only a couple of steps and um, especially after you've done a few of your favorite songs it's even quicker but I'm gonna start from scratch here and so you can see this takes half a minute or so whatever and that'll uh, save and create the mp4 video that we'll be able to use in another app okay so let's just go back and let's just prove that it's there um, by going into the gallery and going down to the bottom oops not I'm sorry we want to go into albums and uh, video highlights and there it is, that's the third one. I had two other ones. So that's the one I just saved. Now you're not going to call it up from there anyway. That's okay, we're going to go into another app. Now, what you want to do next is go into an app. Uh, you're going to download this app. It's called RingPod. This is an MP3 editor clipper for ringtones. Now there's a number of these apps out there. Uh, I like this one specifically uh, because it has a good fade out feature, which is going to be important. Uh, some songs it may not matter, uh, but in order to, for it to sound right on your video, fade out is a nice feature to have. Uh, so I'm going to go in here. You can select whatever song you want. Uh, so I'm going to do You Got a Friend in Me because it's a birthday party of kids and it's a pretty good one. You just hit the uh, icon there to the right and then edit and right away it's picking up a 15 second spot of the um, song that you can clip out assuming you want to clip out but you can adjust that. But What I'm going to actually do, you can adjust it with the slider or you can type and I'm going to go ahead and um, change it to 33 seconds. This gives me a 33 second spot no matter what and it, adjust, it adjusted it. Now I can listen to the whole thing by hitting play but I can listen towards the end to see how it closes out. I've got the beginning of the song I know that's gonna start out fine. You just remember what you or you got a friend. Okay so there's a line there that I wouldn't mind grabbing you got a friend in me. So what I can do now is actually move this it's gonna stay intact at 33 seconds. I'm gonna move this a couple of seconds over All right, it's 2.14. Let's see if that works. Okay, perfect. Now you can also listen from the beginning. So obviously it's going to cut off a little bit of the song, but that's okay. Now, what you want to do now is go to the menu and hit f uh, fade in volume. And you can play with this the way you'd like. Now, the HTC advertisement banner for you know advertising video highlights using Zoe comes up about 29 seconds. Uh, I'm going to put four seconds on the fade out. You can, like I said, you can adjust it. Some songs it may work out where you don't need it, and then you just hit OK. You can adjust the bar to how, what volume level you want, but just leave it there at zero and hit OK. And then we're going to save the song. Now this app lets you save it as a ringtone or whatever. It's just a matter of what folder it's going to put it in. I change it to music. It really doesn't matter. And you can go in here and change that. It actually adds the word music to the, to the um, 
title I'm just gonna shorten it a little bit and just put like the number two here and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save now that um, song that 33 second clip faded to, uh, with a four second fade is on the device and done you don't have to worry about where it is it's in um, it's actually in the music folder is where it's going to put it if you chose it to be music. All right, now we're going to back out and we're going to go to this the Wii Video app. Now, this is an app that I um, did a review on recently. Um, it's a really good video editing app. Now, there are a number of apps out there that do something similar, but many of them, um, some of them don't allow you to add music. The ones that do, some of them don't let you to cut down the volume on the original video and all that good stuff. So, this one I found to be the best. Now it is cloud-based, so it is going to upload your content and then bring it down, which is kind of cool also because you can go online and do further editing if you want. And you can also go directly to YouTube with this, um, or you can, and you can keep a local copy on your device. But we're going to go into, um, we're just going to go to home here and then create new video. Um, now we're going to title this, I'm just going to go ahead and title this birth day party all right so we're gonna hit continue now these are the videos um, and sometimes it can be hard to find the video you're looking for it happens to be the first one here which we're lucky on uh, you have your videos images and again this is for full-blown editing but this is we're going simple here we're gonna use HGC's video we don't need to bring in anything else right now we're just wanna change the song so we're not gonna get complex this is very simple so we, we grab the MP4, mp4 video that's a video that was already created by HGC and we're gonna glide it, uh, slide it right down here. Now, this allows you to put a title on your video. I want to go in here and we're going to say no title because that adds to the length of the video. This is something that you can do and adjust your music accordingly, but I am going to say no title. It's not, you know, in HTC's videos, they don't have them. Uh, so I'm trying to keep things, you know, the same the way they do it, but just alter um, the music. So we're going to hit done there. And we also want to go into the video. Now, if I play the video here, it's actually the same video with the music, but we don't want that song. So what we, what we do want to do is hit the video clip, and we want to go into volume here. This is what I'm saying here. By the way, it shows 32 seconds, but you make the, the, um, the song 33 seconds. It's just the way it works. Um, and then go in here and slide your volume down to zero. That's going to give it no sound. And then we're going to hit done. you got to make sure you hit done there. Now, the song, the audio. All your audio is going to be right here. And this one's going to be down at the bottom. It's under ring pod, actually, to make it easier for you to find. So any of your songs that you edit will be under ring pod. Uh, so you got a friend in me, too. All you have to do is just tap it and it's selected and it's done. Now there are other filters and stuff to do here if you want. Uh, styles, um, themes, but we don't want that. We're just going to leave it blank. We don't have to do anything there. Because uh, the style's already been taken care of by HTC. Again, we're trying to keep this simple. So now let's listen. Let's look at the video. Turn up the volume. Sometimes the volume resets there. And so that's the video that we're going to do right here. It's the same HTC video with a different song. Now, I also want to say that if you're going to put this on YouTube, you may have an issue depending on what songs you use. Uh, you can always go online and find royalty-free music that you can put and have no problem with YouTube. But um, the majority of time right now, they seem to be only blocking things in um, certain countries. And there you go. And, it, and the music faded down. And again, you can make adjustments and save the project. Um, and go back to it, change the song, or whatever. So that's it in a nutshell. I've got it. It's good to go. Now the only thing left that I need to do is publish it. And we'll go right over here and hit publish. It's going to put it up to the Wii Video site. Now let me say, again, I reviewed this video before, and how this works is you have an account online, and you can use your Gmail account. It's great, or Facebook, or whatever. And it'll actually upload your clips to their server. You get five gigabytes for free, 
and you can also um, export video back to your phone, the final product, if you choose to. Uh, you can do up to 10 minute, or 13 minutes a month, which is darn good. So these are 30 second clips, so you've got a lot of them to do, and you have 5 gigabytes of storage up there. We're going to click uh, or tap save a local copy so that's what that exporting feature is now if you have YouTube and Facebook on your phone you can go right to it it'll send it right right directly there and you don't even have to save a local copy if you don't want to that's what's cool about this app again there's other video editing apps but I find this one to be the best and the most versatile so all we're gonna do now is publish and the, the, now this is the only downside is this can take about 10 to 12 minutes to do um, we're going to go ahead and hit publish, and um, and there it is. Um, oh, you know what I want to do though? Uh, I want to make sure that I have a title for the video. But it, um, if I save the project, oh no, I already did the title. Okay, it wasn't showing it there, but um, even if it doesn't matter right now, we'll just go ahead and hit publish and um, it says ready to render and we're going to go ahead and hit continue and then please let us know what you think right now I'll hit cancel and it's going to save the timeline and it's uploading uh, the video now the interesting thing is here um, in this particular example I have uh, this particular song because I already tested it on Wii Video so it won't have to upload that again so that's what's also cool is if some songs that you use regularly won't have to upload that. It doesn't take much time to do that part of it anyway. So it's going to upload and render and then you'll see rendering. And actually you can do whatever you want in the background because you'll get a notification and a email. And why isn't uh, the notification working there? There we go. So... Uh, now it's saving it and publishing. Actually, you're getting notifications what it's doing. So it's publishing it in progress. It was saving it to the timeline. And uh, when it's done, you'll get an email uh, telling you that the video is ready. And then you're good to go. And I, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and um, pause the video. And we'll be right back um, in a few minutes when the uh, video is ready. And I'll show you the final product. All right, so here's the uh, email that I received. And you get the email about a minute or so before you, the video shows up on your phone. But it's basically telling it's all set. And you can go to the link online as well uh, to see the video and uh, do any further editing and send it to YouTube from there. Or do whatever you want. Um, you also, the notification, for whatever reason, just goes to blank when it's been completed and the video is on your phone. Um, or... For example, you may have not saved the video on your phone. You may have just said send it to YouTube and Facebook or one or the other, and it will tell you still that that's been completed. In this case, we, did, uh, we didn't share it anywhere, but we downloaded it, and we'll go into the gallery, and there it is. It's in the Movies folder. So here it is. And that's the video, the final product, and you're, you're free to share it and do whatever you want. Um, now, I did fail to mention, I forgot to say, that with this app, it's going to lower your video quality down to 720p from 1080p, but that is more than enough, uh, I think. It's not a big deal to get your own song on it and for publishing on YouTube or wherever. You can pay for a 1080p version um, if you get into the Wii Video uh, site and get into all the different things, you can go ahead and uh, do that. Um, also, I think I mentioned 13 minutes for the download uh, for exporting video to your phone. Uh, it's 15 minutes per month and five gigabytes, and you get 720p video uh, for free, uh, which is pretty good. So um, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's not a lot of hard work. Uh, just basically add. You, in no time, you can just add a few songs. Now this took a little bit longer than normal. Uh, once in a while the video sits in a queue for a little bit. It took a little bit over 20 minutes, which is, I've been um, experiencing more like uh, 10 to 13 minutes. But again, it works in the background and, uh, you know, just a few extra minutes and very little work on your part. It only takes about a minute or two to change uh, the song and you're good to go. So, that's it. Also, if you want to make a longer video, uh, which is the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do a guide on how to make a 60-second video of, um, of 
uh, using HTC video highlights uh, because sometimes 30 seconds just isn't long enough. So we're going to do that as well. So uh, we'll take one more listen through and uh, look for that guide in uh, another day or so. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android. Just remember what your old past said, boy, you got a friend.